name's Hebby, I'm the big cheese founder of travel gift card, mytab.co, it is .co, not .com, and this is Muppet. Today we're talking about establishing a new email address. Now you can do it through multiple different ways. Um, I'm going to do it on Gmail. I'm going to do a Gmail account. It comes through Google. If you just type into Google search Gmail accounts, you'll go in there, you can sign up. I'm going to show you, come with me, make it snappy. Okay, so you go over to Google. Now that's a Gmail account, I never use that account. So if you're going to spam me, don't be an idiot, just don't do it. Let's just start from scratch. We're talking about creating a new one. So you put your first name in and I'm not going to create the account. I'm going to show you very easy. Put the first name in, put your last name in. Your username, it'll be like headycundle at gmail.com or Deirdre, Deirdre, blah, 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 or something like that, Deirdre Smith or 3333. And then you create a password, very, very simple, and then reconfirm, put your birthday details in. I am other, female, male. Your mobile number, put it in for reference. Your current email address, so you can just basically forward the emails to this account or vice versa. Type in the capture down here. You agree to all the terms and conditions, yes I do, and then you are good to go. Seriously, it is that easy. Your account is now set up. You sign into your account. You can share, schedule, store, organize, collaborate with other people. There's a multitude of different things you can go on Google. Maybe you've heard of the website Google before. It's a big one. Now, I don't think it's mandatory that you need to put in your phone number or your cell phone number in, but the reason why a lot of people do put the phone number in, if anything happens to their account, they can also get a text notification coming through and it's a security measure. Sometimes they do ask us a random security measure for it. That's totally fine. Google's not, I don't want to be stupid here, Google's not going to go around and start spamming and hacking you because if any gets in, anybody gets in touch with you, you bounce it right back to Google, they're going to be absolutely screwed. So you're gonna be safe with them just put it in there your account is then ready to go you can email people you can have it them email forwarded to any other outlook email account that you've got you can also reproduce the email on your outlook so you can reply back from your outlook account instead of having to sign into gmail each time very easy to do just go into forwarding and setting up account details for gmail on outlook and it'll tell you the exact steps to do and it takes Two minutes, 45 seconds. Trust me, I've timed it. My name's Hedy. I'm the big cheese founder of Travel Gift Card, mytab.co. It is co, it is not .com. This is Mups.